my name's Amanda and welcome to the introductory video of a new quilt along that I'm doing on my channel. We are up to quilt along number four, can you believe it? And this time around we are doing mini blocks. I have a little sneak peek of the first block for you. We will be making gorgeous little five and a half inch blocks just like this and when they're all pieced together they will measure five inches. In this quilt along we will be making nine gorgeous little mini blocks that range with difficulty of pretty easy to ones with techniques that are just a little bit more uh, I wouldn't say harder but just yeah we're just sort of going the next step with this one there will be a few blocks that might be a little bit fiddly we will be doing one that has some English paper piecing in it and yeah just a couple of really cute ones that I just cannot wait to make the theme that I've chosen to do my blocks in is a rainbow effect so each block will be based on a particular color so the first block I'm doing yellow, the next one will be orange, the next one will be like red, pinks, that sort of thing. So by the end it'll all have like a really sweet rainbow effect, I think, maybe, I don't know. The inspiration that I got for the overall theme of this quilt was from my wonky log cabin paper paste block wall hanging that I did. Geez, that was a mouthful. Uh, but it's this one on the screen now and I thought, well, let's recreate that and do gorgeous little mini blocks. So that's what we're doing. So obviously the fabrics that I am using are all solid colours. I will be using this box of Fat Quarters that I picked up from Spotlight. This is their branded solid colours. It's just called a Prima Homespun. It's a really great quilters homespun and it's comes in a, a range of colors so that's what I thought I would I would use I also have a backup of these colors as well so it's definitely going to be a very colorful mini quilt one of the great things about this mini quilt is it is fat quarter and pre-cut bundle friendly I possibly wouldn't use jelly rolls all that much because a few of the pieces will be bigger than the two and a half to three inch strips that jelly rolls are you will need additional fabrics obviously for the background and the backing and the binding but you'll find all of the details for fabrics and measurements and everything that you need on the blog post that is linked to this video the link to the blog post is just the very first line in the description below this video and while we're on the subject of my blog as always there will be a pattern sheet for you to print out and follow along with with each block tutorial the pattern sheet will just have a diagram of the block as well as the measurement and cutting instructions that you need to be able to piece the block together there will also be a dedicated playlist for this quilt along just like I have for all of my other quilt alongs this just makes it easier for you to just click on to the playlist and see all of the videos that are in the series I also just want to take this moment to recognize where I got my inspiration for all of my mini blocks and that is from this book it is called 130 mini quilt blocks and it's by Susan Briscoe this book has been a great source of information and inspiration for this quilt along and so I just thought it was just right to say this is where all my inspiration has come from it's a great book if you want to check it out and just like my last quilt along there will also be another awesome very creative hashtag to go along with this quilt along so the hashtag that we will be using on Instagram and on Twitter and on Facebook and wherever else we use hashtags for this mini quilt it will be hashtag Amanda's mini QAL I think that works it's on the screen now so when you come to share your blocks with me mainly on Instagram place that hashtag in your description and I will see it and like it and love it and we'll share the support and encouragement through our little community that we have going on so yes use the hashtag so I can see what you're making because I love 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 seeing what you guys make let's look at the notes and see if that's everything that I gotta say if there's anything that I've forgotten to mention in this video I am pretty sure that I've written it all down in my blog post that is accompanying this introductory video as I mentioned before everything that you'll need to know about this quilt along will be in the blog post it will have all the measurements of all the fabrics that you need it has an estimation of how big the quilt will be because obviously I haven't made it yet I don't know the exact measurement it will be but it will it's definitely a mini quilt but if there is anything that you think I've missed and I haven't answered a question for you then please definitely write your question in the comment below and I'll do my best to answer it for you and I think that is everything that I want to 
chat about. So I really do hope that you are going to be joining me in this quilt along. If you don't have the time or are not going to do it right away, that's fine. As I mentioned, this series will be in a playlist and you can come back and watch it anytime you want and join in at any time you want because it will always be there ready for you to join in and do it. Of course, if you'd like to join in on this quilt along and would also like to see all of the other things that I do here on my channel, then subscribe and you'll be in the loop and you'll see everything and join in and have fun with us together. So until I see you in the very first block tutorial for this series, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again another time. Bye!